Achroma is stronger in chemicals than in dyes and the textile effects business of Huntsman is stronger in dyes and a little bit less in chemicals. So what we can now bring to the customers worldwide is the full range, end to end. And we are not missing anything in this range. We have the full piano to play with, which is very important. I think the other thing we pride ourselves, we don't sell products, we sell systems. I joined two and a half years ago in January 2020. I have a rich career uh, before. I'm a textile engineer, so I feel very privileged to lead a textile company, one of the big companies in the world that is helping to transform the textile industry. Every company, I think, has a dream acquisition. And our dream, the Acroma dream, was to buy the Huntsman Textiles Effect business was very strong in our belief system that when these two companies come together as a merger of equals, that we can truly work with the global brands, the regional brands, the local brands, and with all the textile mills around the world in order to really help the textile industry get more sustainable and help the environment. Akoma comes from Zandos, so we claim we are 125 years old. Then we did strategic acquisition of, of Herx, BASF, as well as Doman, the automotive uh, company that brought us into automotive textiles, very important application for us. If I look at textile effects, the Huntsman division, they come from Siwa Geigi. And so these two very strong heritage companies come together now. And what are we known for? We are known for sustainability, both of us, and innovation. And I can say truly these two companies, Acroma and the Textile Effects Division of Huntsman, we have played the sustainability and the proof points are that we truly invest in R&D and in innovation and bring state-of-the-art new products to the market. When the size of the population increases, the demand for food will go up. And organic cotton and cotton is competing with the food chain. And therefore, I think the trend towards more polyester is not only a trend because of cost, it's also a trend because we are competing with food. We consumers, we like very much the cotton feel and touch, but I think we need to understand that if we want to continue wearing this, we need to spend a bit more on this and potentially buy less in order to have still this privilege to work cotton which is grown versus farmers growing something else that you could eat. Many of my friends are telling me, Heike, if you can make a black t-shirt that is not losing the black after 10 washes, I think this is where we need to focus and we believe our new deep dive line, that's why we brought it out, has longer uh, light fastness and therefore after many more washing cycles is still a garment everybody wants to wear. The opposite is earth colors. We need to learn that colors fade and we need to learn that this is a new trend and if you have a garment where color is fading then it might be the chic thing in the future because you are openly showing that you have understood sustainability. I think the other thing is we work and zoom into recycling because we would like to pre-treat fabrics. We would like to also have dyes for recycled fabric, fabrics. And I think there is a lot of education we need to do via social media to consumers that consumers understand how difficult recycling of a garment is. I have seen some of our competitors reduce the amount of R&D and technical application development. And we want to do the opposite. We believe R&D enabled and innovation is a must in order to have an ambition to transform the industry. My hope is that brands also want to lead with sustainability 
and that they are willing in some cases to pay a premium for sustainable garments. I want to help Asian countries, especially Bangla Bangladesh. I have high interest in growing in Bangladesh. So I belong to the Swiss um, Asian Chamber of Commerce and I give keynote speeches on Bangladesh and I did in Geneva where I highlighted, for example, that Akoma is the preferred dye uh, house or company for the military in Bangladesh. And there is no higher light fastness and higher requirements than military. So we are trying on all aspects to help the government, but also help and put more investment over time into Bangladesh. This is also why I'm here, because I have every intention to increase the business in Bangladesh because so many brands are here sourcing from here and this trend is very visible. The overdependence of China is coming to an end and more and more garments will be produced in Bangladesh and uh, I'm delighted that we can be a partner of choice for the Bangladesh mills and also for the brands that produce here. We have, since quite a while, looked at Bangladesh as an investment case and obviously understanding the law would require us to also have a small production site here and this is the next project that I will look into. But this will not take us long. We are thinking that we are live uh, in first half of 2023 and then the decision for a production site will be made uh, roughly at that time next year, so very fast. The quality mills in Bangladesh that are our partners, where we have a high share position, they get all the support they need. Access to technical application development, but also access to the latest innovation in R&D that comes out of our R&D centers. So even the mills that are starting only to work with us, they also get a lot of service. We have launched Safe Edge, which is very interesting because it gives every customer an online tool to find all regulatory data, safety data sheets, everything in one place that answers all their questions. I think we are the only company live with something as educative as this. And obviously all textile mills are more and more bombarded with needing to generate much more data on ESG than ever before. So with this tool we just launched that we call Safe Edge, we simplify their life greatly. Akoma and I are 100% committed to invest in Bangladesh and to grow with our Bangladesh customers. We like very much to work with the textile mills that are creative, that are innovative, that are striving for quality, for sustainability. We believe the country has a lot of potential and a lot more brands will come to Bangladesh in the years to come. And we are here to serve them all. Thank you very much.